Okay, do a set with me. Right now we're hitting back and we're gonna train the eccentric and isometric. So we're going to hold at the top for 10 seconds and then come down slowly for 10 seconds. We'll do that for three reps, two sets of that. And then we finish off with pull-ups to failure. Now training the eccentric and the isometric. That's how we're gonna build strength and muscle in our back. So that's the first rep. Here for 10 seconds at the top again. Spinal extension, so I'm squeezing my back as hard as I can at the top. Exaggerating the natural curve. Oh, and this burns. This is how we train to build a pull of strength as well as, of course, build strength in our back. This last rep will be brutal. <sighs> Couldn't get the full 10 seconds on the third rep, but this is what training to RPE 8, RPE 9 looks like. No gas left in the tank. So again, starting back, I start with two sets of this. This is a super slow eccentric. Well, first it's a isometric hold. So squeezing with that spinal extension. So I get the tightest squeeze of the back as I can. I'm holding that for 10 seconds, which builds strength in that position. And I come down slow for 10 seconds. So that's the eccentric. I'm tearing those muscle fibers as I'm lengthening the lat which is a motion, the eccentric is a motion we don't train often, so there's so much potential for growth with that movement pattern. So you have your concentric, which is the contraction, you have your isometric hold, which is the hold, and then you have your eccentric, which is the stretching of that muscle. Better train all three movement patterns, but a lot of us don't train the isometric and the eccentric. So make sure you incorporate a lot more of those in your training. Grow, baby.